So before I get into the video, I just want to let everybody know that I just dropped a new sample pack. Um, you can copy it at this link, or it's just in the description. It's my band camp. Um, my first sample pack did very well over the past week. A lot of people have told me they really liked it, and a lot of people said that the sounds in there were pretty good. So I went ahead and made a second one, uh, just House Music Volume 2. Um, it's only $5, just like the first one, but it actually has more samples this time. And, uh, yeah, it's just a, it's a little bit more to uh, sink your teeth into. Um, so go ahead and check that out. You know, if you're a beginner producer, this is great to go along with this video. Um, or if you are a little bit more experienced and you just want some new sounds to work with, it's got plenty of that. So check it out. Thanks. Here's the video. So if you're opening Ableton for the first time, you're going to be seeing something similar to this, which is the arrangement view. Um, and the way you switch between the arrangement view and the session view, which is this one, is by clicking either of these here. You can also press tab to switch between them. And the arrangement view just shows you the arrangement of your track. Um, and the session view allows you to have individual clips like this. And uh, you can just play them one by one. Um, so it's just for two different things. Um, over here, these are called tracks. Uh, usually it starts up with one audio track and one MIDI track. Audio tracks you can put audio on. So like for example this, I can just drag on to there but I cannot on the MIDI clip. Um, MIDI, cl MIDI tracks are for making MIDI clips. So like if I do that, um, it opens up a MIDI clip and I can just draw in MIDI notes. To make a MIDI clip, you select whatever, however long you want it to be, whatever area you want it in, right click and hit insert MIDI clip. You can also press Control Shift M or Command Shift M if you're on a Mac. Um, these buttons here turn off the, the tracks. And this is the volume for the tracks. When you have an instrument on a MIDI track, that'll come up as well. Um, so over in the sidebar here, we have the uh, sounds. So sounds is just presets for Ableton's synths. Um, and this will differ based on which version of Ableton you're on. Um, drums is just the same as sounds, but it's just drums. Um, and if you're on intro or uh, the other one that's like the basic one, I don't think you'll be able to use the drum rack. Um, but under instruments here, you can see all the Ableton instruments. This will differ based on which version you're on. If you're on Suite, like me, you'll have all of these. Um, but yeah, audio effects is the, uh, just has, like it sounds, audio effects. Um, you just drag these onto any track and they affect the audio. Uh, MIDI effects is effects for MIDI tracks. So it's got like an arpeggiator, chord, um, a bunch of different things that you can use for MIDI tracks um, where you're using MIDI instruments. Max for live, you don't really need to worry about too much yet. It's just for Max for live stuff, which you can get extra to add on to Ableton. Um, plugins is just your VST plugins. And to access those, what you do is you open up Preferences, and you go to Browse here, and you can browse for your VST folder, and then um, it'll show up all your plugins in here. Clips and samples, I believe, are just samples you have in your user library. Um, and yeah, so down here we have Places. And what you do, uh, what this is important for is this is where you're going to be able to find your samples. So you see I have this folder here called samples, and it has all my sample packs. Um, so what you do is to get your samples over here, and this is something a lot of people ask about, is you hit add folder down here and locate the folder where you have them in. And then it'll just show up in here, and you see it'll take a second to load. Um, but yeah. Um, after this, I want to go into like uh, putting a MIDI instrument on the track. So what you do, I'm just going to get Operator. So I have Operator in here, and I have a little MIDI keyboard over here. Once you do that, you can play your MIDI instrument, and you can draw in MIDI clips. I'm going to delete this. Um, and draw in notes. So I'll just draw in like a C major chord here. And then drag it out. You just... Uh, scroll over the thing to and highlight it to drag it out. And now I have a MIDI clip. Um, now to play a sample in here, it's like I said before, I'm just going to grab something from here. Um, you just grab a, um, a MIDI or er, an audio sample and put it on an audio track. And now when you hit, when you hit play, it'll play uh, with the thing. Up here we have the um, we have the BPM, uh, so what this is, is just the tempo of your track, you know, and you can change it um, just based off whatever track you're on. Uh, this is the um, the metronome, so when you have that on and you hit play, you get like the click. Um, this is the time signature of your track, 
for most electronic music, you won't need to worry about this. This is important. If you're in session view, this is uh, how quickly when you click on a clip, it will play. So, like, if I set this to eighth note, I'll be able to play a clip every eighth note. If I set this to one bar, I'll be able to play a clip every bar. Um, so that's pretty much the basics. When you learn that, you can go off to more things with Ableton. But I just wanted to make a very simple video to just show, like, complete beginners uh, where to start from. So, hope you enjoyed. Um, I guess in the beginning, check out my sample pack. It's in the description. And, yeah, have a great day.